Right now, we have new information on the fiery crash between a small transit bus and a trash truck in Delaware County that claimed the lives of three people. The bus is part of the Delgo Community Transit Company. Drivers take customers with disabilities wherever they need to go. The customers on board this morning were 60 and 75 years old. The driver was 31 and a father. The crash happened around 8 o'clock this morning in the southbound lanes of the Route 1 Media Bypass near the ramp to Route 252. CBS Philadelphia's Marcella Bayer breaks down what we know so far. Countless first responders took over the southbound lanes of Route 1 following a deadly crash Tuesday morning as they assessed a burnt vehicle. It's so awful. Like, oh my gosh, God bless those people, you know. Just pray for their souls. Yeah. Like, that's all you can do. Just before 8 a.m., police say a medium-sized transit bus rear-ended a full-size trash truck that was hauling a dumpster container just before the Route 252 exit ramp. Flames took over the bus while the 31 year old driver was trapped in the wreckage. Drivers who were passing by pulled two passengers from the back door of the bus, a 60 year old man from Springfield and a 75 year old man from Brookhaven. Police say all three people died at the scene. My heart goes out to the families and, you know, prayers for everyone involved. Officials tell us the 36 year old trash truck driver had minor injuries. As of now, police are not releasing the names of those involved. It's just unfortunate that, you know, we have these accidents and people just need to take their time, honestly. Police also say one of their officers was involved in a separate accident while driving to the scene. Everyone involved was OK. Now that all lanes are back open, many drivers say they'll be traveling more carefully. Cautious when you're turning and entering the highway and everything always yield to the other people. Officials tell us this is a multi-agency investigation, including the DA's task force and local police. In Delaware County, Marcella Vietto, CBS News, Philadelphia.